G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're going to look at the Bandicoot waste pack from Helicon Tex. Now I've just worn this in doing about uh, three kilometres, so it's just a little bit over two miles I'd say. Very comfortable, I liked it. The specs of it, I've now picked the cheat sheet for me so I get it all right. They say it's left or right hand configuration, which means we have two zippers. Let's move this down so you can see that and not my ugly mug. Right hand, right hand. Uh, detachable stowable belt strap. Now I'll get around to the strap here. They've got Rujin buckles, very good quality. But in here, the buckle is just there, it's split. So you can actually take it right off if you want to. And this side, it's not the Eurudian buckle, they've actually got a metal hook which is covered up and you can just unhook that when you want to. And then what that's for is if you wanted to use it and wear it with your actual belt of your pants. So I'll use the belt here. So that can go all the way through. hands in there. So there you go, you can actually wear it on the, your belt of your pants. You don't need to use this one that's on there. So there you go, you've got that pass through all the way in one end out the other. So this buckle will come off. Like I said, so you'll be left with just this here. And we've got the molly webbing on it. Uh, you can attach a double one that's a little bit bigger because it's actually part of the structure of the bag stopping it from getting pulled too far so you're not going to pull the stitch in here but you got, can fit a single or a double molly through that and as you can see I've got the dump pouch fitted on this side just on the single one and I've got a second dump pouch and what I may do is actually fit that on this side so when I'm using this, I've got the two dump pouches, so I can just pick anything up I want and use. The back, we've got like a secret pocket. Really nice, probably fit credit cards in there, a small or flat wallet with not much in it. On the front here, we've got the molly, uh, not the molly, the hook and loop or your velcro. So you can put your morale patches on there or your personal ID, bud group, anything you want. The zips have got this nice paracord pull on it with a bit of shrink wrap over it to make it nice and sturdy and easy to grab hold of. And that goes, I've just pushed it, into a small channel where it actually sits underneath there. So it closes the hole off completely. Let's try and get that up because I've bent it in and send it out. You can see the zip actually goes underneath here. So it's going to prevent any dirt or dust going through the gap. But even the actual zips are all got the dust guards on, except for the back one here. That's just your normal zip. I'm looking at them, they're about a size five. The front one about wallets. I've got my wallet in here at the moment. It's not the fattest nearly empty but that's a good size for a wallet sort of size thing the whole front here goes all the way down to the bottom here and right to the sides and that's your whole pocket now what do they say the measurements are total measurements 260 millimeters uh, then 150 by 70 but looking at that the way that bulges out I reckon that's closer to the 100 like I said with including that what's inside so let's go to the inside actually let's finish this bit first Pals Molly compatible side rings we've done that front Falco we've done that YKK zippers we've done that jaw flex buckle which are these ones the uh, Rujin ones uh, 
Removable Velcro insert organ. Yeah, we come to that now. Capacity two liters, made out of Cordura 500D. We've got an inner mesh pocket, a secure body side pocket. That's this one here. A removable Velcro insert organizer, and the weight is 245 grams. Yeah, that's all their stuff done now. So we've looked at the front pocket, looked at the back pocket, looked at the straps, we've looked at the molly webbing on the sides, so now let's get on the inside. Again, the YKK zippers with the paracord and the shrink wrap on them. On the H end you've got this little loop. You can put a carabiner through there if you wish. The whole idea is you hold that and it makes it a lot easier for you to do your zip up. So open this. We call it a double zip because we've got two zippers on it. Our glasses case in there. Our car keys in there. Full shank of paracord. A small little fire kit. I think that's the cadet one from Helicon Tex. And a tur torch, which I like this one. It's the, what do you call it? The, the Wuben E6. And I've been testing that out. I'll be doing a review of this one very soon. Look forward to that one, that's a nice one. So I'll turn this inside out so you can see what's in there now. Okay, there's that mesh zippered pocket. This has just got power cord, no shrink wrap on it with the YKK zippers still. Here's the mesh, nice, nice zips. Pocket is the whole area of mesh you can see under the zip there and down in the main pocket. Very good zips. That's coming off shortly, like I said. On the other side, what did they call it? A Velcro insert organizer. So we've got the elasticated web in here. And we've got two pockets here which come from this point down to the bottom. And one big pocket at the back, which is a full size, so that's what you can see. And as I said, it's a little Velcro to take it off and replace it with whichever one you want. Now, thinking that I just threw everything in, I didn't organise it, that holds a fair bit of gear in there. A bit bigger than its little brother. Uh, I think you carried that on your hip. It yeah, just about work it, because it bends around you'll lose some of the actual area inside it but it will still work on your hip I had it on my front you could fit it on your back that insert I'm sure you could probably remove that and put your gun in there or your, your Velcro insert for your guns it's only a small gun it'll be but you'll be able to carry one in that like I said this is the cadet fire kit and that went in the smaller pocket here just so you've got an idea sticking up and over my EDC torch my Uber E6 I put down in there so there's the tin you can see just sticking out I don't know if I showed it properly on the camera I wasn't looking I do apologize there's the torch We've got a little loop at the top, so I can just hook my keys on there, the carabiner I've got on it, and I'm not going to lose my keys. The shank, like I said, it's not done tidy, just wrapped it up quickly and thrown it in there. My glasses case, I could probably get my actual wallet in there too, let's have a go, shall we? That all fitted in my main compartment in the middle. I can feel it pushing here, but still, I uh, can still get space in there for another decent size wallet, let's say. Now, I do like this now. People used to take the Mickey Con fanny packs and bomb bags and 
the old 80s and all that stuff and the but this is more along the tactical side you can have your fire kit in here you can have your emergency kit in here so if you have to drop your main pack and just have your essentials in that like I said you've got your attachments on either side I've got my dump pouch on there so I can pick up some kindling to start the fire yeah I, I do like it it comes in a few different colours so that goes with my first burger I bought from Helicon 6 and actually for that I just need one more pouch to match this and that will be the main compartments on that done and I'll show you that another day when I've got everything and we'll go through all the items on that one so if you've enjoyed this video and you got anything out of it and you're not a subscriber Blonk. <laughs> please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos coming up and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much and don't forget hit the like button